All right, good day to everyone. It's Doug here with the LincolnList.com. We're going to take a look at some technical levels and possible trade ideas for the 26th of February. I got this AAC up here, which is doing some scans, run into this one. This is one of my favorite kind of setups, the traditional ramp up where you get this really nice breakout, whether it happens on a daily chart or intraday. The setup's kind of the same. You get this really, really nice breakout, and then it goes from a nice breakout to maybe just a touch of froth. So once you get up there and you start to see that ramp, these make for some pretty good shorts. Now on this one, you, you've got a pretty good move here over the last day from 30 to 37, at least specific to this stock percentage wise certainly there are some bigger moves out there that we're seeing in the micro cap space but this is a nice stock I'd li like to start looking at you had the earnings catalyst today that kind of kicked it in the pants a little bit you know as always when you got something that moves this strongly throughout the day you would like to see that one more you know going to day number four or five here where you can get a little bit of a push so there's two ways I might take a look at a trade like this first if it gaps up or makes that move above this 37.56 and goes towards the whole number of 38 then I'd like to start working into a little bit of a short there is a little bit of support down here late in the day that you could work off of the 36.25 so maybe if it starts to go down a little bit and starts to get into that number and break could be a, a pretty good pretty good short there the the problems I have with is I really hate shorting down into the hole because too many times these days at least the last couple of years you see these stocks go down like this and all of a sudden they start ripping ripping back up you know it'll go parabolic on you you get squeezed so it's a little bit tougher trade here which reduces the size and the love so but if you do get the breakout here you get that nice push it, it would be a pretty good pretty good short setup 82 RSI on the daily I kind of like this one here this AAC now with the P this PCYC these little old bios are getting hot again, or they're starting to creep back into the game here a little bit. That doesn't mean that, I mean, there, there seems to be every day a trade on a biotech stock, but this Juno's got a decent little setup here. You know, the former runner has popped off at the bottom down here off of support in the last few days. You've been holding steady here at this 4461, and now you're working to the upper side of this 4885. You could see a nice little breakout. The thing with these trades, th these stocks like this, Kite as well, They'll often just rip out of nowhere like this, and sometimes that happens like with you get a PC, PCYC where you get this news about a buyout or, or going up for sale, and then every single thing that just reeks bio just starts going crazy like this. It really started, you, today you just saw a lot of stocks in the bio space, pharma space, just going crazy. You know, some of those will stick, a lot of those won't. So with a stock like this, the, you have to kind of set yourself up forecast what you're going to do with it you know if you get ramps up like this or it starts to go parabolic you can't chase into the into the greens because you know we've seen over the last couple of days especially the range on this stock it'll start out a buck 50 or two bucks in the green and end up end up in the red with 30 minutes and then back into the green so you don't really if, if you get the parabolics i guess what i'm saying you kind of want to go against some of the grain unless you have some really tight tight flag or support setup so if you get some big parabolics or this thing starts ripping up here early up into the 51s, I would short it. Now, if it comes down in here and you start tapping on some of these VWAP numbers, support, or into this 46s, and you get a couple of bouncing zones, that's the way I would I would look to long it. Then you, you might be able to get a red to green move. But an interesting daily chart here on this Juno. I want to watch it here because it's, it's potentially setting up a flag, and maybe this just goes sideways for the next couple of days before it really makes a decision on either one of those numbers. But all of this intraday action on this, this thing can just light it up at any time. Therefore, you need to set your alerts and be ready. Also, we talked about this eyes. I'm not the only one that has eyes on the eyes, but you know, it, it's it's turning into the it's it's going to of course be a heavily shorted stock at, at this point. You get this old junker stock that comes up off of the bottom here and makes this really big move. And people start to pile in short. And as I mentioned in yesterday's watch, the same thing with like a bio C. Once these things get going like that and these shorts get aggressive, then they get squeezed. Momo buyers come in and it just creates this perfect storm and these things start to blow off and they'll explode. This one here is getting pretty close to the resistance and I think maybe going into a day three, if you're able to get green early on day number three, this would have to be one you've got to at least take shots. Now, if you're always disciplined as a trader like you should be, there's shots to be taken in off of some of these parabolics. Like if you look at the pattern, the intraday pattern, and a lot of traders want to know why do you use patterns, not fundamental analysis. I mean, whatever works for you. But for me, when I look at stuff like this, 
you know, stocks move a specific way. You know, they have this little behavior to them, the way, way they move with these patterns. Like you see this thing, it'll ramp up for a good 30 minutes and it'll explode. And then it just kind of pulls back, you know, a, a good 60 cents here, 60, 70 cents. You can be the benefactor of any one of those trades. You could be the one who's buying this and the one who's shorting it, or you could be buying it or just shorting it. I mean, there's there's moves in here, and you see it just kind of bases, ramps up again. As soon as it goes parabolic, it peels back a few pennies, and then it keeps doing that until a little bit later in the day where you're a little bit more vulnerable to profit-taking. But you see how that, that pattern is working over and over again. like to see that again. You're buried down here at this late-day support of 1360. It's pretty strong because it held this all afternoon, and... You know, once they do that, they can maybe that's that's the number. We're, well, it's not maybe, but we are going to carry that number over tomorrow. If this thing continues to hold above the 1360s, the 1370s, I would not rule out a nice morning move. So you got a couple of variations as you do with all stocks. First of all, if you get the gap up, the gap up goes over 15, maybe 15, 50, 16, goes into this resistance that you have back here in December, roughly in the 16s. I would start to walk into this with a short position. That would be a tier one. That would be the ideal setup. Now, if you don't get that, you've got this area right here where you are that's very significant for support. So if it holds that at the open or tests that a few times at the open and starts to perk up, then you may want to consider a long. I don't necessarily know if I would long this stock at this point, but there is good reason to, to long it if you use a stop underneath that. The third variation might be if it already breaks down and kind of flushes out, don't chase, don't don't run down there into the short. I mean, maybe that works, but that's just really bad discipline, and you're going to pay for that over time. So don't chase that thing down in there, but we'll, we'll pay attention to this number, see how it reacts tomorrow, and see if we can get the right kind of trade fired off in this eyes. So anyway, that's all I have for everybody. As always, if you need some help with your trading, you're looking to go to the next level. We're two months into the new year. The goals that you had set for yourself at the beginning of the year, they're still prevalent. They still mean something. There's still plenty of time this year to turn whatever mistakes you might have made with your trading or whatever fiasco you might have created you still have time to get back on track. So if you're kind of struggling, you're looking for a community that might be able to bring out the best in you and get the most out of your talents, visit the LincolnList.com, take a 14-day free trial. Other than that, as always, thanks for watching this video. Enjoy your day.